everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Arnold with Stock Swish and reviewing Amazon. So, you know, <clears throat> actually, let me go get this one here. I was up early this morning. I was really up early this morning. I actually woke up this morning before my alarm even went off. <coughs> Excuse me. I was on CBS and I wasn't sure the time. And anyways, long story short, I saw this like almost the second it was happening. It was like 6.45, <clears throat> and I was like, holy crap, and the, I, I couldn't find anything. I scurried and scanned and looked and Googled, and I couldn't find a thing about why this was just tanking in the pre-market, but I knew, I, I knew it was tanking. I mean, I was watching it tanking. I mean, this was 6.45, 7 a.m., 7.15, 7.30. So this is 3388. Let me just look at this here. It was 3388 minus, yeah, 3175. It was down 213 points in less than an hour. And I was like, <laughs> and, and, and I mean, I was like, I mean, I, I was just, I was like, oh my God, this is going to tank. And you know what the other thing is too, and I was talking about this room, we've done a bunch of trades in this. This isn't the first trade we did in this today here. And I called two puts in this here. I've been liking this lower. I've been liking this lower for a while. And, and actually, I mean, I have to go back and look. Hasn't this worked every time we've done it? I think it has. <laughs> so I'm like, wait a minute. And when I saw this doing that, I knew the market wasn't gonna hold either. So, but it, I could have gone, it could have gone the other way. Do you know what I'm saying? Like the market could have gapped up. Amazon could have gapped down, which it did gap down to support, held the support, rallied. This could have failed and the market could have went flying. Didn't turn out that way. Turned out the way that I predicted. Uh, but anyways, long story short, this was tricky. This was very, very tricky because it fell so hard out of the gate. Then it reversed. Then it went green. And then it reversed again. I mean, this is, you know, if you can't handle the way this thing acts, you can't trade this. One, it's expensive. Even if you do a far away strike, it's expensive. And two, it is wild. But you can make a lot of money with these, and they're fun. And you can do them as day trades, too, which is really fun, too. Um, again, this will continue, though, if the market continues tomorrow, which I anticipate it will after the sell-off we had into the close. But anyways, look at this here. So this was the open. One, two, three, four. In fact, let me just look at this right now. Three, one, one, four. Oh, wow. I'm just seeing this even here now. Yeah, that was a good read on it. I think let's put this up here. So I was on the phone with somebody today who did this, and he, and he was freaked out because of the reversal and the cost and you know, you, you, you got to size yourself right for the trades people. You got to give them time to play out. You've got to give them time to play out. And again, you, you have to understand what I'm doing. And if you don't, then you just size yourself right and wait, wait the trade out and see what happens. Some, sometimes they go immediately. Sometimes they take a little time. In this case here, it, you know, this stock, again, is what I call a high flyer. You know, it can do things like this. But you've had people bind the dip in this into the support pretty quickly into the open. It reversed, sold off hard, went the right direction because I'd called the puts in this today. And again, depending on where the market ends up with tomorrow, like let's look at this right now. I mean, it's just like right now the way things are going to even anticipate tomorrow's open would be insane because it's so far away from now the way that 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 things are going right now with this market. Two. So we're basically neutral, up slightly, but not really anything. It's gonna be it's gonna be hard to get around this bar. I can tell you that right now, like almost impossible. In fact, that's the worst. So we'll see. So you know, again, if you get out of this today, great. It was a nice trade. And if you, I called two. If you held one, fine. It, you know, it was a good move. But you have to pay attention to these. These can get wild. You really got to pay attention to these, and you got to make sure you size yourself right. 
and you have to size yourself right in all trades. I keep reminding everyone that, but I think I have to do it every single second because some of you don't realize it, but you must size yourself almost the same or as close as you can on every single solitary trade you take. And if that means you can't afford to do something like this, then, then, you, then you pass. There's plenty of other trades that, that, that um, are within the parameters of pretty much anyone's account. But this, this was not cheap today, that's for sure. Anyways, great day, everybody. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Kind of exciting. Have a good night.